Over the weekend, Karen and I had the chance to go to see a new Aussie film. It was basically filmed in parts of Colac, written and by a couple of Colac guys. That's right, and in Geelong as End well. And in Geelong, Landy Field, which is great to see. A man that stars in it has represented Australia in running 10,000 metres in marathons, both in Olympic and Commonwealth Games. The one and only Steve Monaghetti. We're catching up with him right now. Good morning, Steve. How did you get involved with Reverse Runner? G'day, guys. How are you going? We're Good really to be along. Well, it was a, sort of a long story. I um, About four years ago, one of the um, producers, Jared Theodore, sent me the shift, the, the script. I had a look at it and thought, yeah, that's pretty funny. Don't get asked to go in um, in movies too often. So <laughs> I followed it up and, and you've seen the fruits of their labour, which is terrific to give a couple of young guys from Colac a go. And what is, I thought you said Landyfield. I think it's John Jones Field, isn't it? Oh, well, you would know. John, John, um, yes, yeah. John you Jones. There. You were John Jones in, in the film. And you, I was, You, you yeah. were the icon. Well, is, well they say the, the, the past legend who's... Fallen on hard times, yes. hard imitating life, as I'm saying. Is that oh, right? Yeah. yeah. We, <laughs> but you, were, you weren't a sprinter, though. You're a long distance. So when uh, that's right. Which, yes. which is a lot of my, um, lot of, by the end of a marathon, you feel like you're running backwards. I tell you. So, uh, <laughs> yes. no, it's such a good I can idea. have a bit of an affinity for the the, um, the event, but I'm not a great backwards runner either. But I was great in my day, as wow. you guys were were um, saw evidence of. Yeah, definitely. yeah, definitely. And how long did it take to film? Do you, do you know how long overall? Well, I know um, the guys were sort of um, uh, had other uh, jobs, so they were sort of beg, borrowing and stealing to get it done on weekends and asking friends. And hmm. I, I think I first got it, well, the, the idea came from um, Dan Cannon, who's the star, Kid Campbell in the movie. He saw it, uh, rever- or backwards running event down at Port Ferry about four or five years ago, so it's taken a long time for the guys to get to this stage just because they obviously didn't have a big budget or anything, they were working hard, so they had to call in a lot of favours, a lot of friends, and I think the out the outcome's been terrific for, gosh, the, the lighting, the, um, yeah. the uh, music, I reckon it's really good, so... Hopefully people will enjoy it, get along and see it and um, enjoy it and it, support a couple of local blokes having a go. So a long time in the making. A marathon <laughs> performance just to get it to the big screen and good on the guys. It's interesting you say the lighting and the way it's shot. It is actually a beautiful-looking film, like parts of Colac and uh, in particular Geelong too around Landy Field or John Jones Field, as you just mentioned. It, it just showcases our area so well. Yeah, and I think that's one of the components that that was a surprise to me. You don't kind of think of... Now going along to a movie, I've seen it three times now, and you know, picking up little bits along the way, with extra little quirky moments, funny, you know, you sort of uh, get a bit of a feel for different characters in the movie, so, and that, the scenery is just spectacular, and shows, gee, don't we live in a beautiful country, and it's great to be able to put it on the big screen and show it off. That's right, and I do love that Aussie humour. I must admit. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's a really good family-friendly movie. They've got a lot of kids that have seen it, are, hmm. you know, running out of the theatre and, and back to the car backwards, that sort of stuff. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and it's, it's so good to support Aussie films hmm. in general. So Absolutely. Good on them. Are you still running, Steve? Running, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, still trying to get out. I've just had a bit of an Achilles issue the last couple of months. I'm not running quite as much on hmm. the bike and running, so trying to cross-train a bit. I've turned 50, so... I, I've, you know, it's, it's, you know, I'm in the second half. I'm, I'm heading towards that century now. I'm over the hill, so I've got to be a bit careful. <laughs> Look after my body. So I'm trying to be a bit more sensible and cross train a little bit, but still love my running. So, yeah. yeah, certainly plenty on. I know you're still pretty active. In fact, about 10 years ago, I lived in Ballarat, sort of right in town. I had to drive out to, to uh, Wendoree to go to work. And, you know, those Ballarat really foggy mornings would often see you out for a ride, uh, out for a drive. But you'd run in front of the cars. We're like, did I almost just hit Steve Monaghetti? Can I also <laughs> see things? We're like, oh, yeah, that's him going for a jog again. So. Yeah, so I don't think I'd let you. You wouldn't be allowed back in Ballarat if you, if you ran me over. That no. would be a good outcome. <laughs> You're a national uh, treasure. I, I think I've been lucky to be able to find, you know, I'm still living in Ballarat and been able to um, enjoy that, that part of my life. And it's um, such a beautiful thing to be able to get out when you talk yeah. about getting out and, you know, the movie having great scenery, well, I get out to enjoy that environment every day. Yeah, no, it's a nice part of the world. All the I best. Terrific in Geelong as well. I'm, I'm down there a bit. My daughter's about to start uni down there, so oh, um, a lot of good um, connections down in Geelong, so I look forward Excellent. to um, 
getting some feedback about reverse runner. Yeah, Fantastic. next time you're in town, drop in and say good day. That'd be great. Yeah, love to. Thanks, Aidan. Appreciate uh, that. No plans on Thanks home and away or neighbours or no acting. Oh, career. I'm just waiting. It's the Oscars just, today. I'm waiting. Yeah, yeah waiting for I'm the Oscars. The outcome. I'm yeah. sure you've probably got the feedback. Yeah, you've, you've probably got the speech that. already written. I'm waiting, waiting for the West Learjet. I'm not sure. We're all going over. We're all waiting for the Learjet to come pick me up. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> next year. Formal suit, the formal attire at the door waiting. <laughs> oh, Maybe next year. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for your time today. All right. Cheers, matey. Bye-bye, Steve. Bye-bye, Steve. See you, guys.